Hi guys, welcome back. It's Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to total up all of the values in individual rows of a two-dimensional array. So what this means is, is that if you need to find out what the total of everything is in the first row, and then you need to find out the total of all the values in the second row, and then you need to find out the total of all the values in the third row, and so on. That's what we're going to cover. So to do this, we're going to first understand the problem and exactly what it is that we're trying to do. Then we're going to come up with an algorithm for solving our problem. And then finally, we will write a sample program using Visual Studio and C++ to implement our algorithm to solve our problem, to demonstrate the solution to our problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see on the screen, I have a representation of a two-dimensional array populated with some random numbers. So to do this, we want to find out, or what we're trying to do is we want to know what's in row zero, what's the total of row zero, right? And then we want to know what's the total of row one, and then what's the total in row two. So to do this, we're going to start off by first creating a variable, which I will call row total. Okay, and from there, what we will do is we will initialize it with zero, and then we will take a look at the first number in the first row. We'll add those two numbers together. We'll add that first number and what's in row total together. That'll give us eight. And then we'll assign eight to row total. Next, we'll move to the next value in the first row. And we'll add that 16 to the contents of row total. That's gonna give us 24, which we will then assign to row total. We'll move to the third value in the first row and we'll add that with row total. And then that'll give us 31, which we will assign to row total. We'll do that again for the last value in the first row. So we'll add the 31 and the five, row total plus five, which is 36, and that becomes our new total in row total. At this point, we know what the total of all the values are in the first row. In our demo program, we'll just display that to the user using C out, but for whatever your particular application is, you can do with that value whatever you need to. Okay, from there, we're going to move to the second row and we're gonna reset everything. We're gonna start over and we're gonna repeat the process. So row total is gonna get reset to zero. And then we're gonna look at the first value of the second row and we're gonna add that to row total. So row total is gonna become three. Then we'll move to the second value, which is zero. We'll add that to row total, three plus zero is three. So row total will remain three. We'll move to the next value. We'll add that to row total. 19 plus three is 22. We'll move to the last value in the second row, which is four, add that to row total, that's 26. So at this point, we know what the total of all the values are in the second row, and that is 26. Okay, from there, we're gonna go to the next row, we're gonna repeat the process. So what do we have to do first? Reset row total to zero. And then from there, we will add the first value in that last row to row total, which gives us two. From there, we'll move to the next value, and we'll add that to row total, which gives us 13. From there, we'll move to the next value in the last row, and we'll add that to row total, and that's going to give us 26. Finally, we will go to the last value in the last row, and we will add that to row total, which gives us 32. At this point, we know that the last row, that third row in the two-dimensional array, has a total of 32. And again, in our demo program, we'll simply display it to the user. So, now that we understand what we're trying to do, what the problem is that we're trying to solve and how it can generally work, let's come up with an algorithm. Let's describe an algorithm for solving the problem. Okay, so what's our algorithm gonna look like? Remember what well, the first thing is that we did? We created a variable named raw total. And then from there, for each row, we did a series of steps, a series of operations. What were those operations? First thing we did is we set row total to zero. And then from there, we went through each number in the row, each column in the row. What did we do? We added that number to row total. Once we finished, what, are we, what do we have? We have the total of that row. And for our demo, we're simply gonna print the contents of row total to the screen. So that's it, that is our algorithm. So something that sounds more complicated than it is. So let's go ahead now and do an implementation of our algorithm and i'll leave the algorithm in the upper left hand corner so you can see it or the upper right hand corner and then we'll code it so you can see that i already have the array 
set up and ready to go. So what are we going to need to do? Okay, we need to create the variable row total. Okay, now at this point, we can initialize it to zero, but we're still gonna need to set it to zero at the beginning of each iteration of the loop. Okay, now, so what do we, what do we have? For each row, so we'll say for int r for row equals zero, r less than what? The total number of rows there are. So how many rows are there in this two-dimensional array? There's three. So we'll say r less than three, and then we'll say r plus plus. Okay, now take a look at our, our algorithm. What was the next thing that we did? Inside that loop, right, inside the blue area, we set row total to zero. Remember, we have to reset row, to row, row total to zero for each iteration, for each row that we visit, okay? So row total equals zero. And then, we, then what did we do? We went through each number in the row. We went through each column. So for int c equals zero, we wanna start at the first number. And so long as c is less than what? Less than the number of values in the row, which in this case is four, because it is a three by four two-dimensional array. Then we'll say C++. So what did we do for that inner loop? We added the number to row total. So we can just do something like this. Row total plus equals the element, which is going to be the rth row in the cth column. Okay. Now, and the name of the, the array is nums here. Okay. So once we've done that, once the inner loop is finished executing, what are we gonna do? Well, what did we say in the algorithm? We're just going to display the contents of row total. Okay? And the R is going to correspond, right? It's gonna start up at zero, and then it's gonna be one, and then it's gonna be two. So it's gonna be row zero, row one, row two, right? So what I can do is, is I can do something like this. I can just say, um, you know, row, just so we can see it better on the screen, we'll say row um, r. Okay, and we'll put a little space here and maybe maybe a, a colon, okay? And so that way it'll say row zero and then the total, row one and then the total, row two and then the total. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it, see if it works and fix any bugs we might have. Okay, what, where, oh, where is our bug here? Right there, okay. Had a typo, let's try it again. All right, looks like we have success. So there we have our row zero, 36, our row one, 26, and our row two, 32. So there you go. The, if you wanted to find the um, total going column by column, then all you have to do is invert the loops. Okay, all you have to do is invert the loops. I'll leave that as an exercise for you to figure out, but the logic is very, very similar. Okay. So that's everything that I have for you in this video. What did we cover? We covered how to find the total of each row going row by row. We came up with an algorithm. You know, we understood the problem, we came up with an algorithm, and then we had a demo implementation. And finally, I gave you a hint as to how you could find the totals going column by column, right? So if you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up if you thought the video sucked and you got the thumbs down as well. Please consider supporting the channel in various ways. We have paid memberships with additional perks for as little as 99 cents a month. Join as a subscriber, leave a comment, you know, whatever. Really appreciate um, whatever support you can give. As usual, if you're a student of mine, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me, stop by my office hours, or hit me up on Zoom. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.